Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set from CAT 2021, slot 1 DILR, says that Ganga, Kaveri and Narmada are three women who buy four raw materials, mango, apple, banana and milk and sell five finished products, mango smoothie, apple smoothie, banana smoothie, mixed fruit smoothie and fruit salad. Table 1 gives the information about the raw materials required to produce the five finished products. One unit of a finished product requires one unit of raw materials, okay, of each of these ingredients. One unit of finished product, one unit of each of the raw materials, okay. Now, uh, for example, like if you are making banana smoothie, you will require one unit of banana plus one unit of milk, okay. Now, one unit of milk, mango, apple and banana cost rupees 5, 3, 2, 1 respectively. So, milk mango apple and banana these are the costs each unit of a fixed product is sold for a profit equal to two times the number of raw materials so profit is equal to two times the number of raw materials used to make that product for example apple smoothie is made with two raw materials apple and milk and will be sold for a profit of rupees four per unit leftover raw materials are sold during the last business hour of the day for a loss of one per unit. So leftover raw materials are sold for loss of one per unit. Okay. The amount in uh, rupees received from sales of each woman in each of the four business hours of the day is given in table two. So before we read uh, the data in table two, let us try to understand that what is the cost and the sale price because this is giving about the the amount received right that is sale is given to us in this table right the sales is given to us first we will need to find cost and the sale price so cost is mango is uh, milk is 5 that we are given and then we have mango apple banana 3 to 1 mango apple banana 3 to 1 mango apple banana 3 to 1 3, 2, 1. So the cost becomes 8, 7, 6, and this is 6 plus 5, 11, and 6. Right? Now we are given the profit is 2 times the number of ingredients. So these have 2 ingredients. So profit will be 4 rupees, 4 rupees, 4 rupees in these 3 cases. And the last 2 cases it has 4 ingredients. So profit will be of 8 rupees. And in this case, the profit will be of 6 rupees. So now this is the selling price of 1 mango smoothie that is 12 rupees, 11 rupees, 10 rupees, 19 rupees and 12 rupees. So we cannot distinguish between these two. The rest of 3 can be distinguished. So these are the cost and the selling price. Okay. Now we are given that leftover is sold for a loss of 1 per unit. So if we talk about the leftover prices, leftover prices for milk, mango, apple and banana, milk is rupees 4, 2, 1 and 0. Okay, so that are the leftover price. So the sale will be in the form of these prices or these prices. So combination of these have to be added to get the following numbers. Now we will read the conditions given and find out which of these items are sold by these people over here. Now no one ex except possibly Ganga sold any mango smoothie. Mango smoothie is how much? Mango smoothie is of 12 rupees. So no one except Ganga. Okay. So that means Kaveri and Narmada will not sell mango smoothie. These two people will not sell mango smoothie. Only Ganga can sell mango smoothie. Okay. Each woman sold either zero or one unit of any single finished product in any hour. So that means a person will sell only one unit. So for example, if you see 30, it cannot be 10 plus 10 plus 10. Okay. So that cannot be possible because you sell either one unit or two units okay so similarly if you see the number 22 it cannot be 11 plus 11 
or of uh, apples maybe okay so you cannot repeat that same content right next is each woman had exactly one unit each of two different raw materials as leftovers okay no one had any bananas at leftovers so banana is not present in leftover so we have leftovers as milk mango and apple right now it says each woman had exactly one unit of each of two different raw materials as leftovers so the combinations can be milk mango or it can be mango apple or it can be milk and apple so these are the three combinations of leftovers okay so point number 3 says the leftover part the total price will be either 6 that is 4 plus 2 right or it could be 3 or it could be 5 so 6 5 or 3 could be the cost of the leftover items right and rest of the items will be sold now let us try to make this division like how can we distribute to 23 now leftover is sold only in the last hour. leftover raw materials are sold during the last business hour of the day this is the last hour so we cannot sell leftover here so leftover will not be sold in these hours we have to sell sell these products we cannot sell two units of the same product okay so now we need to make combinations see it is easy to make combinations uh, using the prices in the first 3 hours but it is uh, challenging to find out which is which in case of these 12 rupee items so 23 see we have to make 23 we cannot make 19 so 19 means we have to make four so like by looking at the numbers you see we have to add these numbers basically 10 11 12 and 19 these are the four numbers 12 is coming twice so 23 is 11 plus 12 so we will just first write the numbers 11 and 12 will make 23 now 19 is possible only with 19 31 is possible 12 plus 19 now you must be wondering that 31 can be made of three items like 10 10 11 11 if we make 31 10 10 11 11 means we will have a repetition of 10 and there is only one item which cost 10 rupees we cannot repeat the items okay it is given that each woman sold either zero or one unit so we cannot have this repetition in 31 so it will be 12 plus 19 similarly 21 will be 10 plus 11 we need to use these numbers in the first 3 hours okay. 22 will be we cannot have 11 plus 11 why because there is only one item of 11 rupees so it has to be 10 plus 12 okay, write the numbers similarly 21 will be 10 plus 11 okay 29 will be 10 plus 19 that is the only way if you put three items you cannot make 29 now 30 is 11 plus 19 right 23 will be 11 plus 12 so thus far we have figured out the items for the first 3 hours now last hour okay last hour is uh, the actual challenging one okay so if we talk about the last hour for ganga kaveri and narmada last hour we cannot put 30 as 19 plus 11 right that is the first thing that will come to our mind because we saw 30 here 30 here also no we need to think in terms of these leftover items also point number 3 says each woman had exactly one unit each of two different raw material leftovers okay so we need to subtract either 6 5 or 3 from it okay now out of 30 if we subtract 3 we get 27 right so can 27 be split using these numbers no we cannot split okay now if she has left over of 5 rupees and 25 rupees we cannot make 25 using combination of those two numbers if she has left over of 6 rupees she will have 24 rupees we can make 12 plus 12 no 12 12 we can have different items one of the items is fruit salad and another is mango smoothie remember ganga can sell mango smoothie others too cannot sell okay so ganga will have 12 12 and 
6 that is 4 plus 2. Okay, so leftover will be 4 and 2. So this is Ganga's cell in the last hour. Now we will come to Kaveri. Okay, Kaveri is selling 27. If we subtract uh, 3 from it, like 27 minus 3, if we do, we are left with 24. That will make 12 plus 12 which is not possible. Why not possible? Because 12 rupees are these two different items, but mango smoothie cannot be sold by Kaveri. It is given here. So we cannot have this combination of 3 rupees. If we subtract 4, she will be selling 23. That means 11 and 12, which is possible. If we subtract 5 from it, uh, 4, uh, sorry, not 4, we cannot subtract 4. We, can, we have to subtract 5 or we can subtract 6. So we have to subtract 6, 5 or 3. So if we subtract 5, it will be 22. 22 means 10 plus 12, it is possible. Right? She will not sell mango smoothie, but she can sell fruit salad. Now, if we take the difference as 6, like 6 means 4 plus 2 here, she will be left with 21, which is 10 and 11. So this is also possible. So for Kaveri, we will get two cases, either 10, 12, making 22 rupees and then 5 rupees using 4 and 1 or she can have 10 plus 11, 21 and 4 and 2. So this is Kaveri. Okay. So two possibilities in the last hour. And third, we will take Narmada. Now if Narmada has 6, right, she needs to sell 16 more, which is not possible. If she has 5, she has to sell 17 more, which is again not possible. If she has 3, she will have to sell 19 more, which is possible with like this item of 19 rupees. So that means Narma, Narmada has a sale of 19, 2 and 3. So these are of leftover items. Okay, Leftover means milk, mango or apple and these are the original products. Okay, so this is how we will be able to fill the table. So quite uh, number crunching required over here, the different combinations of products, the products that can be sold and the leftover items that need to be sold. Okay, so now we will answer the questions using this data. So we will have this table. Now this table gives the number values. Remember that mango smoothie, only Ganga can sell. Okay. And rest can be sold by anyone. So by looking at the number, so if we see 12, so 12 means for uh, Ganga, it means mango smoothie. For others, it means uh, like non-mango smoothie. Okay. The first question is, what can be concluded up to about the number of unit of fruit salad sold in the first hour? Okay. Fruit salad is of 12 rupees, right? Now, first hour, this is 12, this is 12. Now, what is fruit salad? And mango smoothie is also 12. Now, this is fruit salad for sure. But what about this value, 12? Whether it is fruit salad or it is mango smoothie, we cannot tell. Because Ganga sells mango smoothie, but 12 does not make it differentiate between the two items sold. So, we will have either one item sold or two items sold. So, either one or two units of fruit salad sold in the first hour. Which of the following is necessarily true? First says that Narmada sold one unit of leftover milk, right? So if you look at Narmada, Narmada is selling four, two one. So leftover milk costs rupees four. Okay, so we had milk five, mango three, apple two, and banana. One okay, leftover price was four two one. Okay, Le banana was not sold as leftover. So Narmada is not selling leftover milk. It is nineteen to one. It is not four present over here. So that is false. Kaveri sold one unit of leftover mangoes. Now Kaveri can sell leftover mangoes or may not sell. So we can't say. Okay, we can't say that whether it is true or not. Ganga did not sell any leftover apples. Now Ganga is selling 4, 2, leftover apple is 1. She is not selling any leftover apples. Okay. So that is the statement which is true. 
what best can be concluded about the total number of units of milk the three women had in the beginning so we need to find the number of units of milk now how do we find the units of milk now if you see all items all these items contain milk okay except uh, uh, the fruit salad all these items contain milk right so first of all we will count how many items are sold and uh, how many units of milk is sold separately now we know that fruit salad and mango smoothie is 12 right now when we count fruit salad these two will not sell mango smoothie so if you see a 12 here that will mean fruit salad is of 12 rupees so we can rule out these possibilities these are definitely fruit salad right for this person we cannot tell that whether it is fruit salad now when in the last hour the person is selling two units so one units will be fruit salad one unit would be uh, one unit would be milk okay so one is fruit salad and one one is mango smoothie okay this is for sure now this is fruit salad so we will count the number of uh, milk units so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen right now this is fruit salad 14 leftover milk is 4 15 now uh, in this case either it will be 2 or it will be sorry it will be 3 or it will be 2 so 2 or 3 and this 19 is containing milk so let us recount we forgot the count somewhere so this is 1 2 3 5 7 uh, 6 8 10 12 13 13 plus 2 15 it is 17 or 18 or 19 and this is not known okay so either we have so 17 or 18 18 or 19 so we have 18 or 19 and this also can be we do not know whether it is milk smoothie or fruit salad so we can have 20 also see the other ones the ones that are ticked 17 18 are fixed right now either we will have one extra depending on the case so 19 and this is also another possibility so we have either 18 19 or 20 units of milk with these ladies if it is known that the three leftover units of mangoes were sold during the last business hour of the day how many apple smoothies were sold during the day now the last question says three leftover units of mangoes so mango is of two rupees in the leftover format so this is one unit one unit and the third case is so for the last question we will assume the uh, above case right now the question is asking apple smoothies apple smoothie is of 11 rupees so let us count the number of 11s in this and that will be the answer so 11s is 1 2 and 3 4 5 and 6 so we will get 6 apple smoothies sold during the day so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions